five mad heathens. Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Five Mad Heathens. Now, it's my turn for a question. Do I have one prepared? It's no good, Captain. I forgot. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I have a question. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to basically take Douglas's Scotty concept and run with it. Never mind. Uh, so yes, I do have a question prepared. Now, I recently made a video on my channel about consumerism. And consumerism is basically, you know, happiness is gained through having material objects and stuff like that. But I'm not a consumerist and, you know, I, I don't know you guys that well, but I, I don't know, n none of you guys seem to come off as consumerists, so I want to ask a question, what makes you happy? What? Now, you, you could do this really simply by saying, well, love, friendship, power, fame, all those kind of things, right? You could answer it that simply. But we can do better than that. We can do a lot better than that. What we can do is we can, well, describe, see, see if we can get to the matter of why it makes us happy. Like, for example, power makes me happy because I think I'm God. And when people obey my every command, I feel <clears throat> it satisfies my massive ego and I suddenly become happy. Stuff like that. Now, I, I'm not meant to answer my own question and I'm not, but, like, for example, in my in my situation, I would say something like I would I would say that material objects doesn't make me happy. I've discovered this. You know, it it gives me some satisfaction for maybe one or two days, and then it's like I've had it forever, and then it, it just becomes you know something that's there, something which you own, and that's it. It doesn't actually contribute towards happiness. It's just a it's almost like a diversion or something. I don't know. But we, I want to, I want to get to the root of the problem. What specifically makes you happy? How, how does, how does it go about? How do you think this happy? How do you think, uh, how do you think you developed in a way that it made you happy? Basically, I think, I think I've jumbled all this up. I might have to, just quickly paraphrase them again in a minute. But I also want to explain why I'm, I'm asking this question, because. You know, I'm I'm aiming for like what what I do on here. I like to think contributes to a better world. We hopefully quite a few of us think that as well. But the the way I see a better world is a world where we're either happier or more of us are happy, and we can do a lot lot better than what we're doing right now. And I think one of the main problems is that. We don't really understand what makes other people happy. Sometimes we don't even understand what makes ourselves happy. I, I think even I have that problem. But, that, I don't know, that, that, that's the idea. The, the better we understand what happiness is and how we, how we can create it. And there was actually a TED, there was a TED Talk video, which I'll link you to in the side, which I came across a few months ago on uh, synthesizing happiness. But the, the better we understand happiness, the better we understand what makes us happy, the more likely we are to have a better world because we can implement those things. That, that's roughly what I'm aiming for here. So to paraphrase what I said again, what makes you happy? Why and how does it make you happy? Describe it in as much detail as you possibly can you know, I mean, for the whole open ourselves up, just like Douglas's, Douglas's question did here. So, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to compete with it or anything. That's just, apart from anything else, it was probably impossible because that was a very good question. But, yeah, enough. So that, that that's what I want to get across to you guys. Uh, I look forward to your answers. 
And that's it. Bye everyone. See you next Friday. Or in my Origin channel if you want to go along there. Cool, bye.